everyone, this is Issa Tease. And I was just having a little chat on Messenger with some of my favorite friends and the word intuition came up. But I think I'll just run right down and do a little talk on that. So intuition, most people are very familiar with intuition. In fact, those of you that are women, you know that women have a sense of connectedness, if you will, with their children and with other things. Women seem to be a little more intuitive by nature than men. Now, I know that's not across the board, so everybody just keep breathing. But what I can tell you is that women have usually a more open right brain area. Right brain is where we are very artistic. It's where we are we, we move from an emotional or a feeling state. We are utilizing things that are not quite as structured as maybe some people have that are very related to their left brain because the left brain is more like logical, structured, makes sense. And that means that we are in a place where we've got a right brain right brain and the left brain and because women are frequently more right brain than not they are characteristically in a place where they are more intuitive so intuitive means that you are you just kind of get a feeling in your body you get a feeling that you feel a sense that something's going to happen for example kind of like a premonition you get a feeling about something or someone. You reach a place where you are, uh, sometimes it's a butterfly, sometimes it's a feeling you're, you're, you have an increased awareness. Hi, Catherine. And so for other people, it's a matter of suddenly having this thought just come into their mind and it just seems to come out of nowhere, but they have an awareness of something going on. Intuition can be developed, and intuition is developed really easily when you are in a place where you are feeling mm, a little bit more, what word would we use here? When you're, when you're feeling a little more connected, a little bit higher vibration, when you're in a good mood, when you're in the zone, because when you're in that place, your vibration is higher. And when you're feeling kind of down and out, what you find is everything seems to slow down. Intuition is a place that comes from a higher level of awareness. And in fact, it's so high that it's really beyond your mind because it's not something that you think about. It's something that just seems to flow through. And we can develop that by increasing our vibration. We can increase it by being in a more positive state of mind. We can increase it by also going more deeply into ourselves. And when we do that, what we find is that it is a quieter place and all of the outer world rhetoric quiets down. And when that occurs, then what happens is that we're able to hear things that are naturally going on but we sometimes are not really able to hear because we're so inundated with so much data, with so many things that are going on in our lives that we don't have time to actually listen on a deeper level. And when we allow ourselves to quiet down, slow down, and be a lot more inward with our thoughts when we're listening more rather than speaking and trying to control ourselves and our lives, then what happens is that we are in a place where we can hear that inner voice. Now, we know we all have this inner voice, right? We know that we have this thing going on that's over here, but that's not the real inner voice I'm speaking about because this one over here is saying, oh, you're not allowed to do that. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, how come you're so difficult? How come you're so ugly? The mind comes up with this inner voice that is very unkind to us in a very, very big way. And therefore, what occurs is that we usually will listen to that inner voice and we believe it. Can you imagine that we believe this voice? Where do you think that voice came from? That voice comes from things that we heard when we were younger. Our parents, our friends, 
people that, that are in a bad mood, they just dump stuff on us. And when we're little and we don't know any better, we think it's true. When we just had our retreat uh, out with the pain, in with the joy, there was someone there that shared that they had been told some things that were really, really difficult. And being a child, we listened to that. And the whole life of this person was impacted by that statement that she wasn't enough or she wasn't good enough or pretty enough or whatever those things are that we hear. And what's really interesting is that when we're a child and we hear that, what occurs is that we take it as law because we don't have anything else to compare to. Therefore, we go around thinking that what we hear is true and that lowers our vibration. Hi, Joan. And it makes us feel less than when we are feeling connected and loving and self-loving and caring about ourselves. All of these things have a lot to do with our intuition, that internal knowing, if you will, that part of us that can really make a difference in our decision-making process. So most of the time, the majority of people will think, gosh, I have to think this through. I've got to categorize my answers. I have to go into the Ben Franklin clothes. For those of you in sales, you know that that means you write all the pros and you write all the cons of what's going on, and then you make a logical decision. Well, that's not what intuition is. Intuition is about having that sense, that sense of what it is that you are about to make a decision about the way it feels in your body. So one of the things that you can do is notice how you feel in your body. When you're about to make a decision in any area of your life, whether it be about where to go to dinner or whether to make a financial decision or what to do with your work or whatever it may be, your children, it can be anything. Or maybe it's about what you're going to eat. Now, there's a lot of people that I know that have a thing about food. And when it comes to food, what do you really know is going to improve and make you feel better than something else? Well, that's logical. But you also have a true sense of connection to what it is that you're feeling. And you can make decisions in any area of your life by just quieting down and just seeing how it feels. And when you think of doing that as a yes, for example, then you think, gosh, does this feel good? Does it feel lighter? Do I feel like, yeah, this is work for me? Or do you feel like, this isn't so great? You feel a heaviness. And when we feel a heaviness, hi, Monica, what occurs is that we are not really in a state of connection to what's happening. Now, I want to interject here that one of the things that occurs is that when we have this sense of mm, connection occur, we don't necessarily mean that we won't feel some apprehension or some fear. Because when we're using our intuition, we many times will go to a place where we're being confronted with things that are scary because we're used to living in our comfort little box. And many times intuition will say, I really know I need to do this. I'll give you an example. In this, in this retreat that we just did last weekend, we had somebody who hadn't known about the retreat and somebody texted her about something else, I believe, at midnight the night before it began. She didn't know me. She didn't know what it was about. She really didn't know anything. But she just had this gut feeling like, I need to be there. I just, I just know that there's something there for me. And so at 12.15 at night, she signs up for this and shows up the next morning at 8.30 in the morning and totally blank, totally in trust because she was really trusting that gut feeling, that intuition. That is so powerful when we do that. And by the way, she had an amazing weekend as she shared with me and is now going to do some additional work because she realized that this was something that was really working for her. It was something that was just perfect for her in that moment. So when you are in a place where you are feeling like, gosh, should I do this? Should I not? Just sit quietly with it for a moment and see how it feels. Do you feel lighter or do you feel heavier? Now, the other thing that occurs is that you can go internally and actually ask yourself, 
you, it just doesn't mean you're going to be like Sybil or schizophrenic. It means that you have a part of you that has every answer that you could ever dream or hope of and a very intelligent part of you. And when you recognize this and you can start asking your mind like, hey, pretty, it is something that can, maybe you can tell others that we're on, tell the group that I'm on so they will uh, come and join us. At any rate, when, when you are really connecting to that part of yourself that trusts itself, then what occurs is that you are able to really make a difference in your balance between your right and left brain. I know I got a little bit off track here, but it'll come back. So what I'm, what I'm saying here is that when you are using your intuition, what you're doing is you are trusting that place that allows you to know what's next. And I know what I was saying. The, the brain, when you can, you can go inside and start speaking to yourself and say, okay, so I am, I'm, I'm really looking to have an answer to this. And you can just very simply say, what's the best decision for me here? And then be quiet and notice how you feel. Notice what comes up for you. And you can do that with any area of your life. You can do that with any question that comes up that you're trying to decide about and say, what's the best decision for me right now? And then be with that and see how you feel and stay with it for a little bit. Now, that's one kind of intuition. It's kind of accessing that inner awareness, that, that part of you that intuitively knows what's best for you. And then there's the other kind that I was speaking about a few minutes ago, which is the part that you're just doing something. You come across something, and like this person that I shared a minute ago, she just came across something and said, yeah, I know this is what's important for me. Most of the work that I do with most people comes from a very deep connection point, which we can call inner in, intuition. And so I might be up and I'll get up in the morning and that's when it really flows for me. Because when I'm first up, which is a good time to really connect to that point, we're, we're much more blank. We don't have all the rhetoric going on from the day. We don't have that left brain so engaged. Because remember, intuition is primarily coming from the right side, that more malleable place, that place that doesn't have the structure, doesn't have the, the dominance of logic to it necessarily. So many things, the person that I just shared with you that came to the retreat, it wasn't really logical. She had things, she, she'd actually already paid for a class to go to on the first day of the retreat. And yet her intuition said, I need to go here. And there were several people at the retreat that were just like that. They didn't exactly know what they were getting into. They didn't know exactly what they were going to learn, but they had a very strong sensation. Now, so, so watch for things coming to you out of seemingly nowhere and notice if that's something that actually works for you. And don't think it, feel it. The other thing is, as I was starting to say, is that in the morning when your mind is, is much quieter in general, like right before you get up when you're a little bit in that alpha space, especially before you go to sleep as well, I'll talk about that in a moment, what I encourage you to do is just be still and see what comes up for you. Maybe have a pen and a paper next to your bedside and whatever starts to run through you is an intuitive uh, guidance, if you will. It's a, it's, it's a part of you that has the ability to get the information for what it is that might be next for you. And so you can just write that down because if you've noticed that once you're up and around, you just don't connect to that deeper part because we start getting into our left brain. The other thing that happens is that like for me, I will get up and I'm in the morning, I, I, I go into a deep state and I talk to what I call my genius team. And if you want to know more about what that is, you can private message me and I'll tell you what that means. And so I connect with my, hi Sereni. What I, what I notice is that I am, am pretty quiet and so I'll just have a flittering thought go through. The majority of the work that I do, as I started to say a little while ago, with the, the retreats that I create and the, and the coaching that I do and the seminars that happen and the things that I write, these come from a very deep intuitive place. It doesn't come from logic. 
what it does is it comes from a place where it seemingly just comes out of left field. All of a sudden, I'll be up there in the morning, I'll be putting on my makeup or doing whatever I'm doing, and what occurs is I just have this thought, oh my gosh, and I have this really great program called Swift To-Do List. Now, Swift To-Do List is something that has an app for my phone that I, I just... When, when that thought comes through, what I do is I click on my little green check mark, which is the app, the way it looks, and I will immediately speak into it what it, the thought was that I had. So, so much of my teaching comes from that intuitive place, that place that's beyond my mind. I don't go read it out of a book and then go tell somebody about it. Where it comes from is beyond where it is that my mind knows to go. And they're, they're, Swift To Do actually is a is a paid to do list. It's very powerful, and you can and I don't get paid for saying this. I'm just telling one of the things that I share. What it is that um, you can take your email and you click on it. It'll save it in there, and it it does a whole bunch of things. At, at any rate, there's there's other things like To Doist. I think it's T O I S T, which is another program that you can put your what to do things in and and all of that, and I don't know that there's something that you can speak into. It's a more of a of a writing thing, but at any rate, that's one way that I capture. For those of you that have, you know, talking on your phone, you can talk it in, or you can tell Siri, remember this, or whatever. But the bottom line is, many times, intuition flitters in and out very quickly. You don't remember it so quickly because it's a very high vibration. It's a thought that you don't usually think most of the time, or it's not something you've been dwelling on. So when you have those thoughts, write them down. Keep a pen and paper by your bedside so you can allow yourself to write these things down when they come to you intuitively. If you spent a few moments every day before you got up, and you just allowed yourself, you could ask yourself a question like, what's the most awesome thing that can happen for me, my relationship, my business, my children, my health, and for my money, or whatever it is you would like to say. And then allow yourself to just make that rhetorical question. And you may find, I do this every morning, and, and you may find that certain things just show up out of how seemingly nowhere. That's your intuitive nature showing you what it is that can be supportive for you. So I want to support you in starting to tap into what's in here, in a deeper place inside of yourself than what it is that you might normally be doing using your left brain. And when you do that, you'll find that every area of your life will start to open up. And the higher you keep your vibration, meaning that whether you're looking at the glass half empty or half full is going to make a very significant difference. There are always things going on in our lives that we can really have difficulty with. They can look like struggles. They can look like difficulties. They can look like, I don't know which one to pick. But you know what you can do is you can, hey Jackie, what you can do is you can move yourself to a position where you can be still inside yourself and you can look at what's great about this. And if you can't see it in that moment, you can ask yourself, what's great about this that I haven't seen yet? Because when you start to move yourself away from the negativity and into the gratitude, then everything will change for you because gratitude is a very high vibration. Gratitude is a place where when we're giving thanks and we're just really, sorry, that little puppy in the background is uh, wanting to get off his chair. At any rate, when you, uh, when, you, when you do that, that gratitude is going to really increase your level of connection, of feeling good, of making things be different in your life. Because gratitude is the way that you acquire more abundance. If you would like to have more abundance in your life, then my support to you is start giving thanks to every single thing you have. Every single penny you have, every single thought you have, every single greatness that has already gone on in your life, and what it is that is forthcoming, and what's happening right now. Because if you do not, what you're doing is you're refusing to receive. And what's the value of us refusing to receive? There's no value in that. And because of that, you have an opportunity to really spend your time in a place 
where you can be living. Hey, Heather. Uh, hi, Monica. So gratitude is very, very great. It's very good to overcome your pain because when you, hi, Wendy, when, when you are doing the gratitude thing, what you're finding oh. is, okay, I'm going to be right back. Here you go, puppy. You can get down. You can go. There. Okay. Sorry, you guys. He was just making too many whining noises. At any rate, what you can do is you can put your focus on what it is that's working in your life, even when it seems like everything isn't working. I know it's hard sometimes, but if you started your day with five things that you were incredibly grateful for, maybe the fact that you were upright might be one of them. Another one could be something as simple as I have a roof over my head. Maybe I've got food. I've got water. I am warm. I mean, you can start with basics if you're having a really tough time and you can't figure out what it is that's great is occurring. But there's always a million things. Hey, Tamla, what, what you can do is switch your focus to what's great that's happening right now in your life. So live in gratitude because it will expand everything for you. When you're living in that gratitude, you will find that abundance increases tremendously in every area of your life. And when you're in gratitude, you are feeling better, which we were saying earlier, raises your vibration, which I was saying earlier also helps you have a greater sense of intuition or an inner knowing of certain things that will help you really go forward with what it is that you're really wanting. And your decisions will be easier to make because you're not making them from your left brain, which is usually created from your fears, from your past experiences where people told you things. And when we do that, we're not going to make a decision that might be in our best interest. We're going to make a decision based on how can I stay out of being hurt here? That's what we do because humans are just kind of like that. And when we are recognizing that, then we stop that and we start doing what it is that will take us away from, move our energy away from the things that we're afraid of because you can't be in fear if you're in gratitude. You can't be in fear if you are allowing your intuition to really be moving by. You cannot really allow the intuition to come through if you're paralyzed about every single decision that needs to be made or you're paralyzed because you're afraid something in the future is going to occur. Remember that fear is rarely in the moment. I would venture to say it's not in the moment ever. It's about what happened in the past that you think might happen now or it's in the future about what you think might occur. But in reality, when you're here right now in this moment, if you're really in a, in a life-threatening situation, you're not in fear then either. You are in such the present moment that, let's say somebody's coming after you, you book it. I mean, you're out of here because you don't have time to be afraid. You're just moving and you're not thinking. So the present moment is a very powerful key to increasing your intuition. So these are things that you can do if you would like. You can practice up and go back and listen to this again or share this with your friends because when we are all living in a greater state of gratitude, when we're all using our intuition to make really powerful change and decisions in our life, then our abundance increases in our relationships with our money, with our health, with everything because it's all about the energy of all of those things which makes the difference. So I really appreciated being here with you. I'm making this decision and commitment that I'm going to do uh, Facebook Live every day. And so I've been doing this for the last several days. So if you haven't seen them, be sure to put click the notifications so you know when I come on. And you can come back and listen if you're at work or something. Or put on your headphones so nobody knows you're listening. And some of you uh, may be asking about this. Help I'm Trapped in a Body, The Power of the Total Body Matrix. That's actually a book that I wrote quite a few years ago. It's on Amazon. And it's a little bit of my beginning life story. It's a very basic book that has some very powerful things in it that um, it might interest you to take a look at. I'm writing a new book, so that one's going to be coming up. So for now, I just want to send you all a hug and great appreciation because I'm in so much gratitude for you being in my life for being here and listening, and also for sharing this with everyone that you possibly can. Because individually, we make an incredible difference in the world. And collectively,
effectively, we literally change things rapidly to a place that we all love to live and a life that is incredibly awesome. Thank you, Pretty, and thank you all so much for being here. I look forward to connecting with you tomorrow. Feel a hug. Bye for now.